First name storm of the year is moving out to sea, as Tim just talked about, but not before it brought high surf, heavy rain, and strong winds to the North Carolina coast. 13 News Now team reporter Allison Basil is live in Duck with a look at how the storm has impacted roads. Yes, Jenna, NC-12 is open and mostly dry at the moment. And driving down here, we didn't see any major flooding issues, but we're right on the side of the road here in Duck, where standing water seems to be the main driving hazard right now. Some cars have been swerving around these big puddles here behind me, but local neighbors also tell me this is kind of always a problem area in their neighborhood. Now, NC DOT spokesperson says there is quite a bit of this standing water from Oregon inlet all the way to Ocracroke Island, but the rain has paused as Arthur pushes out to sea. They say crews were out earlier to see what the rain would do. Now they're waiting to see what today's high tide will bring. And so we talked with NC DOT spokesperson and they said it doesn't take much to create overwash on NC 12. They say that that high tide, they are standing by to see that, see if that happens around 630. And they do say if they have to put out barricades, you know, they ask neighbors to obey those barricades just in case they have to do that. But again, um, they see a lot of people go around those. Now they want to say if they put anything else out further, just obey them. But right now, as you can see, everything's fine at the moment, and we'll keep an eye on that for you. For now, live in Duck, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. Yeah, Tropical Storm Arthur hit the Outer Banks in the form of heavy wind and rain. 13 News Now reporter Madison Kimbrough has more reaction to the system. It's a little crazy, but it's out of banks, so we expect it at any time. It can roll in and roll out. Just as Dare and Currituck counties finally opened their beaches Saturday, Tropical Storm Arthur moved right in, causing Dare County to issue a tropical storm warning and coastal flood advisory. Locals and visitors are advised to stay home and stay away from the water. It was real pretty yesterday and just out of nowhere this little storm kicks up and it looks like it's going to be here most of the week. A different tune from yesterday when people were just excited to be at the water again after North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper lifted the ban on beaches in the area. Penny Johnson recalls driving down and seeing groups of people flocking to the beach. It was pretty packed. The parking lot was full. The people were kind of social distancing, but we still had a few big crowds. The 13 News Now team of meteorologists warns of dangerous rip currents throughout today and heavy rain throughout the rest of the week. In Kill Devil Hills, Madison Kimbrough, 13 News Now.